In this exercise, we're exploring a NumPy array. We start by running this first cell, which creates the array and gives us this little quiz form. The questions are down below. We'll just run through the questions one by one. First question, how many elements are in the array? Well, that's the array size, so it's just ar.size, 120. We'll go enter that in the quiz, 120, check correct. Okay, next question. Question two, how many dimensions are in the array? That's the ndim property, ar.ndim2. Incorrect. Oops, no, I put it in the number three. It's question two is right here. Check, correct. How many rows are in the array? Well, there's a couple different ways we can find this out. One is to use the shape function of NumPy and just pass it the array. And that gives us first the number of rows and then the number of columns. So that's one way of doing it, and that answers questions three and four. We can also use NumPy's size function. And in this case, we pass the array and the dimension. And the first dimension, or the zeroth dimension, is the rows, so it shows 15. And the second dimension, or the one dimension, is the columns, and that's eight. So for number three, the answer is 15, and for number four, the answer is eight. Okay, on to questions five and six. What is the sum of all the elements in the fourth row? To get the fourth row of a two-dimensional array, we have to get element three, or at index position three, of the array. Remember, the first dimension is the rows, and the second dimension is the columns. So this will get the fourth element in that first dimension, which is the rows. And we can actually look at that, and it shows what those values are. So then we just sum them up, and we can do that with the sum method. 4,161. So let's put that in. 4,161. Check. And that's correct. Question number six. What is the sum of all the elements in the fifth column? This is a little trickier. To get the fifth column, what we need is all of the rows, but just one element in each row. So that's AR. And in the first dimension, we want all of the rows. And we can do that with just a colon. That'll be from the zeroth row to the last row. And then in the second dimension, we want the fifth column, and that's at position four. So this gives us an array with the values in that column. And then we just sum it up. And we get 359,600. Let's check that out. 359,600. And that's correct. Okay. On the question seven and eight, what is the value of the fourth column of the fifth row? So here we're looking at a specific cell, if you will, the fourth column of the fifth row. So the first thing we need to do is get the fifth row, and that's at position four. And then we need the fourth column in that row, and that's at position three, or index three. And we get negative 4,083. Let's enter that, negative 4,083, and that's correct. Last question, what is the highest value of the array? That's actually an easy one. We can just use the max method, and it's 69,620. 69,620, check. Very good. Next, you'll do a reading on random sampling and another exercise.